we're going to learn how to create new pages and to get buttons to link to new pages. So you may want to create new pages if the page doesn't exist on the device and you want to add specific vocabulary. So for example, there's this My Foods button, but it doesn't go out to anything. To know if a page goes out to something, you'll see a little arrow, that white arrow in the upper right corner. So let's create a new page for My Foods. So I'm going to hit Edit. I'm going to tap my foods and i'm going to go down to add action i'm going to select link and i'm going to link to new page so i'm going to title this my foods because i want that page to be named the same as that button and that symbol i think is perfect so i'm going to leave it and i'm going to tap create so now when you click that button i'm going to hit that It'll bring you to a blank page because we have no vocabulary yet on that button. And this is where you can then add specific food items back. So if you wanted to create a new button that links out to a page, um, so say we wanted to add my restaurants. I'm going to search. I like this button, that simple. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hit add action. I'm going to hit link, link to new page. And I'm going to type my restaurants. I don't like that symbol, so I'm going to go ahead and search, use that magnifying glass, select the one I like, and hit create. I'm going to hit back because I noticed that there was multiple things under the action. So because this is a page dedicated to specific vocabulary, this isn't necessarily something I want to speak out loud. So I'm going to go ahead and remove speaker insert message because I don't want to speak that. I just want to go to that specific page. So it's considered like a folder. So I'm going to hit the little red circle and I'm going to delete that. So now when I tap my restaurants, it brings me to a blank page, and this is where you can then put your all your restaurants.